Sa lahat ng bagay, simula pa lang, siguraduhing max protection na. Kasi pag kulang ang protection, baka madaling masira. Sa ngipin, dapat may max protection din. Max ang alaga ng unique toothpaste. With Max Protect Formula, help stop cavities before they start. While keeping breath fresh, try unique maximum fluoride protection. Para max alaga, max protectado. ACS Boom! Papaya! White Rose Papaya! Yeah, 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 yeah! Boom! Puti ka! In seven days, oh yeah, 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 yeah! White Rose Papaya! White Rose Papaya! Na may double whitening! Papaya extracts plus whitening ng vitamin B3! Boom! Sa bango! Charm Fabric Conditioner Bangong Kablu ACS Ang galing Oh, oh, oh Di makita Oh, oh, oh Pasa Pilipino Oh, oh, oh Galing dito At galing dito Ang galing Isang pagbibigay pugay sa inyo Mga kapwa kong Pilipino Kayo na kinakaya ang lahat Kahit mahirap Kayo na di nawalan ng pag-asa At handang tumulong pa sa iba kayo na walang takot harapin ang nagbabagong mundo. Kayo ang tibay ng loob ng isang buong bansa. Mula sa Tanduay Ram, higit 165 years nang sumasaludo sa mga bayaning Pilipino. Tibay ng loob, tibay Tanduay. Sana all same ang alaga. Sana all mabigyan kong gatas. Uy, Birch Tree! May lakas depensa nutrients. 750 lang per glass. Para sa lahat, Birch Tree Fortified. Uy, sorry, late ako. It's okay. How was your day? Ayun, nag-catch up lang. Kahit anong biglaan, handa ang ganda with Palm Olive Naturals Ultra Smooth. Infused with 100% natural aloe vera extract for hair that's smooth and manageable. With just a finger comb. At ang bango pa. I had a great time. Handa ang ganda with just a finger comb. The journey to the crown starts now. Here are the beautiful ladies who made it to... them compete for the title and crown on the following days. October 29, Evening Gown Competition and Q&A. And November 5, Awarding and Coronation Night. Who will stand out among the rest? This is the search for Ali One Fiesta Digital Queen 2022. The ladies will exhibit their beauty, elegance, and intelligence. Brace yourselves for the evening gown competition and Q&A. Let's welcome our hosts, Rocky Tera from 90.7 Love Radio and DJ Nick of 96.3 Easy Rock. Magandang gabi, Luzon, Visayas, at Mindanao. Magandang gabi din sa iyo, partner. Looking great, partner. Thank you, partner. Good evening to you. You look very expensive. Naku, partner. Expensive talaga ako ngayon. Kaya mo ba? Magkana ba, partner? Um, pag-usapan natin after the show. <laughs> <laughs> Naku, partner. Magandang gabi rin sa ating mga viewers, of course. Yes, partner. Kaya naman ngayong gabi. Mm. Marami tayong pagsasamahan para matunghayan ang ipamamalas na galing ng ating labindalawang kandidata. That's right, partner. Kung last week binahagi sa atin ng mga kandidata ang kanikaniyang advokasya, ngayon naman, 
ay ipapakita sa atin ng mga kandidata ang paggrampa sa kanilang magagarang evening gowns. At syempre, kung paano nila sumagot sa ating Q&A. Naku, partner, mm-hmm. excited ako para dyan. I'm Siksik sure. ang gabing ito. Kaya naman, wag na nating patagalin pa. Siguraduhin nakatuto kayo live na live sa aliwanfiesta.com slash AFTQ at sa Facebook pages ng Aliwan Fiesta. Love Radio, yes, the best. Easy Rock, radyo natin. DZRH at Action Radio. And syempre, bukod sa online world, papapanood nyo rin kami sa ating cable. Signal, that's Channel 18, Sky Cable, Channel 129, at Cable Link, Channel 3. Ituloy-tuloy na natin to, partner. Ipakilala na natin ang ating panel of judges. Starting off with radio broadcaster and vice president of EZRH News, Mr. Deo Makaima. Pageant blogger and owner of PPP Media, the Philippine pageantry, Tristan Harvey Francisco. We also have theater, film, and television actress who is also the vice president for advertising of Fila Philippines, Ana Bad Santos. We also have 2015 Reina ng Ali One first runner-up and 2021 Miss Aura International, Alexandra Faith Garcia. From ACS Media Agency, Mr. Alan Yatoko. And the digital brand manager of Tanduay, Edzel T. Ayan, at dahil nabanggit na natin ang ating panel of judges partner, ang tanong, paano nga ba kikilatisin ng ating judges ang ating 12 candidates? Here are the criteria for judging. Beauty of face and figure, 25%. Commitment to advocacy is 20%. Personality, 15%. Eloquence, 15%. Poise, 10%. Talent counts is 10%. Overall impact, 5% for a total of 100%. 100%. There you have it, ladies and gents. Huwag nyo rin kalimutang iboto ang inyong favorite candidate para manalo ng Netizen's Choice Award powered by Dita Telecommunity. All you have to do is check out vote.aliwanfiesta.com or you can scan the QR code that will be flashed on your screens to vote for your favorite candidate. And you can vote for your favorite candidate until 11.59 p- p.m. tonight. Mm-hmm. Okay, so 11.59 tonight. Wali na, okay? Ay, ay. <laughs> So, ang ngayon pa lang, bumoto na kayo. And also, partner, pasalamatan natin ang mga sponsors natin na talagang naging dahilan. Sumuporta sa atin oh. all the way. Yep. So, thank you so much, Unique Toothpaste, Unique Toothpaste, Max Protectado, Max Alaga, Pag Unique. White Rose Papaya, yan ang papaya puti, papaya fast ng White Rose Papaya. Charm Fabric Conditioner, bangong kumakabloom with Stay Fresh Technology. We would also like to thank Dito Telecommunity, Todo na Dito with Dito Telecommunity, Tandway, Tandway, World's Number One Rum, Birch Tree Fortified Powdered Milk Drink. May lakas depends ang nutrisyon para sa buong pamilya, kaya kasama all sa Birch Tree. Pamolive Natural Shampoo, Pamolive Naturals Ultra Smooth, handa ang ganda with just a finger comb. So partner, let us not keep our partner. audience waiting. Let's go. Ready ka na bang makita ang mga nagagandahan nating kandidata? Very. Binarm up muna ako eh with your uh, So pang warm up lang ako, partner. <laughs> <laughs> Di ba ako pang main event, partner? Sorry, you're all try support. Pero ito talaga yun. Ladies and gents, simulan na natin ang evening gown competition. Here are our 12 lovely candidates in their evening gowns. Let's begin with candidate number one, Sofia Norin Guillermo from the province of Ilocos Norte. Sofia Norin Guillermo stands 5 feet 5 inches tall and weighs 112 pounds. She is a graduating student of Dingras National High School and plans to continue her endeavors in the islands of Hawaii, where she spent most of her school life. As a travel enthusiast herself, she values the potential of tourism in job generation, leading her to choose livelihood through tourism as her advocacy, given that tourism is one of Ilocos Norte's key economic drivers. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Sofia Norin Guillermo from the province of Ilocos Norte. Is candidate number two, Nadine Faith McCoy from Cebu City. Nadine Faith McCoy of Talamban, Cebu is 17 years old, stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, and weighs 123 pounds. Nadine finished junior high school at the University of Cebu and is a karatedo who also plays the guitar. 
loves to sing and cook. As an avowed supporter of LGBT rights, she has chosen the Love Yourself organization as her favorite charity. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Nadine Faith McCoy from Cebu City. Virtual stage is yours, candidate number three, Dana Gabriel Tauto from Davao City. Dana Gabriel Tauto is a licensed geologist who hails from Davao City. Gabby is 24 years old, stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, and weighs 108 pounds. Highly intelligent and driven, she also holds a master's degree in urban planning from the University of the Philippines and is currently taking up her PhD in development studies at the Ateneo de Davao. Gabby works as an environmental consultant for Ridge to Reef and supports the Matig Salug Tribes Council of Elders in Marilog District, extending assistance to their farming community. Once again, Dana Gabriel Tauto from Davao City. And now show us what you've got, candidate number four. Crystal Candice Pagdagdagan of Ginobatan Albay. Crystal Candice Pagdagdagan is from Ginobatan Albay. KC is 18 years old, stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, and weighs 88 pounds. A senior high school student at the Marshall Ranola Memorial School. She loves creative writing literature and cycling. Currently, Casey heads the Ginobatan Children's Organization and counts leadership skills among her strengths. Once again, Crystal Candice Pagdagdagan of Ginobatan Albay. Ano naman kaya ang ipapakita sa atin ni candidate number 5, Heaven Ayel Musni from Bacolod City. Heaven Ayel Musni comes from Bacolod City, Negros Occidental. Ayel is 20 years old, stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, and weighs 110 pounds. She is a student at the John B. Laxon Colleges Foundation and is into pottery and folk dancing, taking pride in the Mascara Festival of the City of Smiles. Heaven actively helps out Sagup Negros, a social enterprise initiated by youth empowering youth that aims to mitigate food waste generation in local markets while providing income support to vendors and unemployed mothers. Once again, candidate number 5, Heaven Ayal Musti of Bacolod City. To complete the first half, here's candidate number 6 from Cebu City, Jacqueline Fleming. Jacqueline Adarayan Fleming hails from Cebu City. Jackie is 21 years old. Stands 5 feet, 4 inches tall, and weighs 105 pounds. She is currently a second-year college student, taking up psychology at Fort Louis College. She's into singing, dancing, writing, and loves to go ice skating. Jackie is a skin ambassadress at Skin 911 Medical and an advocate for children's awareness. She actively helps the Little Lamb Missionaries of the Poor. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, candidate number six, Jacqueline Fleming from Cebu City. Wow, partner! First half pa lang yan na ating 12 candidates. Pero partner, parang grabe yung mata mo kanina ha. <laughs> Ikaw kitang, din naman eh. <laughs> Kitang-kita ko yung mga mata ni partner, talagang titig na titig siya sa mga kandidata natin. <laughs> Ay nako partner, pero fourth competition leg na, talagang hindi na talaga nagpapatinag yung ating mga candidates. No? Of course partner, mm -hmm. talagang every week ay pabongga ng pabongga ang mga kandidata natin. Excited ka na bang makita ang natitirang kandidata natin? Siyempre naman, partner. At I'm sure, ang ating uh, mga viewers ay excited na rin. Kaya wag na natin patapatagalin pa. Up next is candidate number 7, Martina Micael de la Rama from Buena Vista, Agusan del Norte. Martina Micael de la Rama of Buena Vista, Agusan del Norte is our next candidate. This 18-year-old stands 5 feet, 6 inches tall, and weighs 114 pounds. 
A student at the Butuan Doctors College, Tina likes to cook and is also into sports. She actively supports the Kalangaman and Tanke Fisher Folk Association. Once again, candidate number seven, Martina Mikael del Rama of Buenavista, Agusan del Norte. Get on the virtual stage, candidate number 8, Marikit Manawis from Baguio City. Marikit Manawis, whose family hails from Itokon, Benguet, is representing Baguio City this year. She is 25 years old, stands 5 feet, 5 and a half inches tall, and weighs 112 pounds. Kit holds a degree in Human Resource Development from St. Louis University and is currently secretary of a solid waste management company. She counts singing and theater acting among her special talents. Once again, candidate number 8, Marikit Manawis from Baguio City. Now let's call on candidate number 9, Maika Kabling Martinez of Nueva Ecija. Micah is 28 years old, stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, and weighs 110 pounds. A broadcast communication cum laude graduate of the University of the Philippines de Laman, where she also obtained a special course in urban and regional planning, Micah is currently a government employee and remains active in youth engagement, particularly projects and food sustainability and those that uplift the lives of the farming community. She is into basketball, badminton, and boxing, plays the saxophone, and loves to dance. Ladies and gentlemen, candidate number 9, Micah Martinez of Nueva Ecija. Natin si candidate number 10. Tanya May Kahilig is from Labangon, Cebu. She's 18 years old. She stands 5 feet, 6 inches tall, and weighs 99 pounds. She's a 12th grader under the ABM marketing strand of the senior high school program at the University of San Jose Recoletos. Anya plays the electric guitar, loves listening to 1950s jazz watching chick flicks and experiments with hair styling and hair coloring techniques in her free time. She is very passionate about helping cyber sex trafficking victims. Ladies and gentlemen, candidate number 10, Tanya May Kahilig from Labangon, Cebu City. Now here to make her Kababayans proud is candidate number 11, Nikki Shannon Ortega from Davao City. Nikki Shannon Ortega of Davao City is 20 years old, stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, and weighs 121 pounds. A student at the University of Mindanao, Nikai loves reading and watching movies. While she is a strong advocate against bullying, she has named the Sibulan IP Youth Organization in Davao as her chosen charity, being an outspoken vanguard of indigenous rights. Ladies and gentlemen, Nikki Shannon Ortega of Davao City. To 
complete our list. Take it away, candidate number 12, Cassandra Avena from Caramoan, Camarine Sur. Cassandra Avena is a 16-year-old go-getter from Caramoan, Camarine Sur. She stands 5 feet 4 inches tall and weighs 121 pounds. Cassie is the current president of Jovenes de Bicolandia 102 Leos Club International. Vice President of the Supreme Student Government at Naga City Science High School and Head Trainer of K-Modeling Training Center. Cassie has chosen to support the alternative learning system with the goal of fighting illiteracy. Ladies and gentlemen, Candidate number 12, Cassandra Avena from Caramoan, Camarines Sur. And that concludes our evening gown competition. Thank you so much, ladies, wow. partner. Oh, hi. Kita mo yun. Gaganda. <laughs> oh, gandang ganda ka sa kanila. Oh, Isang pero iba, iba ka. Ah, iba ka. Partner. Main attraction. Thank you, partner. Yeah. Akala ko distraction. <laughs> well, anyway, masasabi ko talagang handang handa ang mga kandidata niya rin para sa gabi ito. All right. I could see that, partner, and we all saw that. Our viewers saw it too. Pero partner. This is just the first half of tonight's competition at mamaya lamang sasabak pa ang ating 12 candidates sa Q&A. Ito na! Kaya nga, partner! Mm. Kaya sa mga viewers natin dyan, huwag kayong BBTO dahil we'll pause for a short break and we will be right back. Aliwa! Vote for your favorite candidate to win the Netizens' Choice Award, powered by Dito Telecommunity. To vote, visit vote.aliwanfiesta.com or scan the QR code flashed on your screen. Duration of voting is until October 29, 2022. Ali One Fiesta Digital Queen 2022 would like to thank the following. Unique Toothpaste Max Protectado Max Alaga Pag Unique White Rose Papaya Yan ang Papaya Puti Papaya Fast ng White Rose Papaya Charm Fabric Conditioner Bangong Kumaka Bloom With Stay Fresh Technology Dito Telecommunity Todo na dito With Dito Telecommunity Tanduay and Wise World's number one rum. Birch Tree, fortified powdered milk drink. May lakas depends ang nutrisyon para sa buong pamilya. Kaya kasama all sa Birch Tree. Palmolive Natural Shampoo. Palmolive Naturals Ultra Smooth. Handa ang ganda with just a finger comb. And we're back on the show. Now, if you can't get enough of our 12 candidates, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. You can use the hashtags Aliwan Fiesta Digital Queen 2022, hashtag AFDQ 2022. Pwedeng pwede nyo rin i-share ang Facebook Live natin sa gabing ito to show your support sa ating candidates. At tumutok lang kayo hanggang sa susunod na linggo, November 5, para sa Awarding and Coronation Night. Ako, malapit na yan, partner. True. Mm -hmm. And now that we have seen our candidates in their elegant evening gowns, let's proceed to the segment that we all have been waiting for. We have seen them during the Pride of Place, Talent and Skills Competition, and Queens for a Cause. At ngayong gabi, magkakasubukan na ang ating mga kandidata pagdating sa Q&A. So let's find out what the candidates have to say during the question and answer portion. Take note that the questions in this segment will come from our panel of judges. Each candidate will be given 30 seconds to answer the question in either English or Filipino. When they hear this sound... That means it's time to wrap up their answer. Partner? Alright, let's do it. Alright, take your walk, partner, with your most elegant evening gown. Thanks, partner, for the continuous support. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Alright, so here we go with our first candidate. Candidate number one, Sofia Narin Guillermo from the province of Ilocos Norte. Hello, Sofia. Good evening. 
Hello po. Good evening. All right. So I guess partner our judge is ready to ask the question for Sophia. Yes, partner kasi gabi ng kasi ganda ng ating candidate number 1 ng ating mm. judge na magtatanong sa ating candidate number 1, Miss Ana Abad Santos. Sophia, do you think that bearing a child is the essence of being a woman? Thank you for that question, ma'am. I believe that a woman isn't entitled to the expectations of the public or of everyone. We have our own decisions to make and as women, we are here to prove that we are not just pretty faces, we are not just because of our bodies, but we are here to also be a part of the community and do better things. And bearing a child, I believe, is not something that we have to um, go through, you know. All right. Thank you very much, candidate number one, Sofia Narin Guillermo. And of course, uh, to our judge, thank you so much, Miss Anna. All right. But here we go with candidate number two, Nadine Faith McCoy from Cebu City. Hello, Nadine. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. How are you doing tonight? I am doing great. How about you? Good. Really good. Good to see you. So, are you ready to answer the question? Ready as ever. All right, let's go, partner. Hi, Nadine Faith. Good evening. Good evening, Paul. This is my question. Recently, there's an option that Filipinos are more supportive of foreign entertainment, such as Korean dramas, over our own shows. Do you think this is true and why? I think that supporting foreign dramas is not something that we should not be proud of because the, the problem of, in our Philippines is that we despite of supporting others in order to see ourselves as someone is bigger. But in reality, we have to support each other including those foreign programs so that we can also be supported by them because... Alright, thank you very much, Ladine. I think that was very clear. Partner? Yes, partner. Supportahan natin ang isa't isa. Lahat. Isa. Oh, oh. Yes, thank you so much mm -hmm. to our judge. Okay, and also that, that question is very uh, timely. timely. Very, very relevant. relevant. Okay, alright. Now we go to candidate number three, Dana Gabriel Tauto from Dabao City. Good evening, Daniel. Hello, good evening. Oh, Dana pala. Kamusta? How are you doing tonight? I'm good. I will up. Actually, I hope that I am audible because it's very uh, uh, raining here. Oh, They're raining so hard, yeah. I see. I hope that I'm not hearing the audio. You're, you sound <laughs> perfect. So, are you ready to answer okay, your question? Yes, yes. All right, let's begin, <laughs> partner. Okay, Dana, your question will be coming from Miss Ana Bad Santos. Hi, ma'am. Hi. Hi, Dana. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. So, my question is in beauty pageants. If there is one special award that you think should be given more attention or weight to, which one is it? For me, it should be, uh, since Ali as a digital queen is um, looking for a girl who is a queen for a cause, for me, it should be, there should be more importance of giving the candidate um, importance on their advocacy because it is the essence of being a beauty queen, being the voice of the voiceless, and being a queen for your cause. And in my in my opinion, as a person who is leaning towards the environment, I would like to share to the people that environmental protection is very important. All right, thank you very much, Dana. Well said. Diba? That's the feeling talaga kapag ano, kapag uh, nasagot mo, diba? With the full of confidence yung tanong. Alright, okay. And of course, we now go to candidate number four from Ginobatan Albay, Crystal Candice Pagdagdagan. Hello, good evening. How are Hello, you? How are you, Crystal? Well, I feel great. How about you? I'm feeling good now that I see you. <laughs> All right. Are you ready to answer your question? Yes. All right. Okay, let's go. All right. So your question will be coming again from Miss Ana Abad Santos. Hi, Crystal. Hello, Paul. Good evening. Good evening. Crystal, do you think transgenders should be allowed to compete in pageants for women? 
why or why not? Thank you for that question. I would like to greet everyone. Good evening. Well, I believe that transgender are the most important, one of the most important people in our lives because they are they are giving us entertainment, happiness, and so much purpose. And I believe that they they have our they have their own platform to it and, and it is it, it was never been a problem to allow transgender to join in our community because I believe that the essence of pageant is for us to share our purpose. And I believe that the next All right, Crystal. Very inclusive. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Anya Abad Santos, for that question. Na napaka difficult to answer. Oh, it no? is a difficult answer. A uh, question to answer. All right. Well, anyway, let's move forward to our next candidate, Heaven Ayal Musni from Bacolod City. Hi, Heaven. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing well. Very well. Are right. Are you ready to answer your question? Yes, I am. All right. Very ready, partner. Let's All right, go. so ready na rin ang ating judge na magtatanong para kay Heaven, Mr. Alan Yotoko. Good evening, uh, my gabi Heaven. And your, yeah, your question is, do you think volunteerism, volunteerism helps the government in fulfilling its mandate to the people? I'll repeat that question. Bibigat na mga questions natin tonight, kahit ako parang... <laughs> Mga candidates, do you think volunteerism helps the government in fulfilling its mandate to the people? I think yes, because volunteers are an integral part of any society. They are the factor of national power, which can lead our nation to heights of glory and prosperity. So let us not underestimate those volunteers because their influence can create macro effect not only in this society but the entire world as well. Thank you. Short but sweet. Yes, all right. Thank you very much, Heaven. And thank you also, Mr. Alan Yotoko. All right, closing out the first half of our candidates is candidate number six from Cebu City, Jacqueline Fleming. Good evening, Jacqueline. Hello po, good evening po. Yeah, I hope you're doing okay. Ready ka na ba to answer your question? Um, I actually have one little like um, worrisome right now. Um, we just had a brownout so my signal is very, very choppy. So I hope I hear the audio correctly. Alright, you sound okay. But can you hear us? I can hear you okay. but your screen isn't moving. I see, I see. Alright, so for as long as you can hear your question, then we're ready to fire it away. All right. Oh, okay. Hi, my question is, does being dependent on technology like our cell phones a good thing or a bad thing? All right, right off the bat, my answer to that is no. We should not be reliant on our gadgets. Why? Because I feel like when we are away from our phones, we grow more as a person and we are more surrounded by the reality of life. And that is something that's very important, especially when it comes spending time with our family and friends. Because time goes away in a split of a second. So appreciate. Wow, Miss Fleming, thank you very much. We try to do more of that, partner. Yes, partner. Oh, tayo nga, nag chat pa tayo eh. Kaya, Magkatabi lang tayo. <laughs> Pero ang hirap talaga, <laughs> diba? Anyway, thank you so much, Miss Alexandra Faith. Yeah, thank you very much to our first batch of candidates of course to miss fleming candidate number six and of course that's just the first half partner Kaya hindi ako kasali pero alam mo kahit ako pinagpapawisan sa mga tanong ako rin partner Oo. pinagpapawisan yung kilikili ko na volunteerism kayo. tatanungin kita dyan mamaya partner the ca- <laughs> sumasagot ako sa utak, sa utak ko lang mo. Oh, okay. ba? Mm, wala ako masagot <laughs> pero ito the candidates were able to handle the questions from our panel of judges and we all saw that right? yes partner and mm. I must say they really prepared for this oh, oh naman they were born ready yes, di ba nakakailangan tanongin partner ko okay pa sila eh actually partner yeah. kasi full of confidence talaga sila ngayon no? alright well let's see how well the rest of the candidates can handle these questions from our panel of judges let's have candidate number 7 Martina Micael de la Rama from Buena Vista Agusan del Norte Good evening, Martina. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you doing tonight? Um, okay. A little bit nervous, but I'm fine. <laughs> All right. Take a How deep breath. I'm okay. I'm okay now that I see you. <laughs> take a deep breath 
And we'll have your question from our mm-hmm. panel. Bumabahin at ka pa, partner. <laughs> Alright, so your judge is Mr. Allen Yotoko. Thank you. Uh, good evening, Martina. Good evening, sir. And your question is... Medyo mahaba. So anyway, here goes. Uh, in what areas of expertise do you think the government should focus on in today's uh, youth? Is it sports, science and technology, literacy, or arts? Yeah, you know, uh, choices. Go ahead, Martina. Today, everyone has a different kind of um, uh, expertise, so what you say. So I can say that everyone has a purpose and everyone has different skills. And I myself have has have a purpose, a purpose to educate the people, and to to pre, to preserve our our ecosystem. And I know that Aliwan Fiesta Digital Queen is is a great platform for me too. All right, thank you very much, Martina. And thank you so much, Mr. Alan Yotoko. All right, partner, pahirap ng pahirap talaga oh, yung question. Parang feeling ko dumadating na ako sa point na. <laughs> Ayoko na. <laughs> yeah, pero buti na sasagot ng ating mga kandidata. Oh, naman. And very good at it actually. So let's hear it for um, candidate number 8, Marikit Manawis from Baguio City. Hello Marikit. Good evening. I think you're on mute. So just to make sure that we can hear you. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. How are you? Well, I'm nervous but I know that I will do great. I know you will. Malamig ba sa Baguio ngayon? Yes, pero syempre, puno-puno ng pagmamahal, kaya mainit. Alright, sige, Marikit. If you're ready, well, we're going to fire a question now. Hi, good evening to you. Hi, good evening. So my question is, if you were named Aliwan Fiesta Digital Queen, how will you use your title to support your advocacy? Analiwan Fiesta Digital Queen is a queen with a purpose. And if I were to win this um, title, which is Aliwan Fiesta Digital Queen, then I would take advantage of this platform to be able to talk about the importance of zero waste management and more so the importance of giving back to Mother Earth. This may be a very challenging role for me, but this is just a small price for me to pay for the change that I want to make for the world. Thank you. Thank you so much for that answer. All right. Thank you very much, Marikit Manawis from Baguio City. Thank you also to our judge, Ms. Alexandra Faith. Ito na, partner. Konti na lang. Pero sabi mo nga, pahirap ng pahirap yung questions. Kaya nga, partner. Sige, tignan natin kung anong question for candidate number 9, Maika Kabling Martinez of Nova Ecija. Hello, Maika. Good evening. Hello, DJ Nick, and good evening to everyone. All right. Are you feeling okay tonight? Yes, I'm so blessed, but at the same time, I feel a bit nervous because I'm doing something that is very important to me. All right. Well, since it's important, I'm sure you will do your best to answer your question. Okay, let's hear yes. it. Yes. <laughs> At napaka-importante ng itatanong ng ating judge mm-hmm. na si Mr. Tristan Harvey Francisco. Hello. Good, good evening, guys. Hello, good evening, good evening, Micah. Yes, good evening. Um, Micah, my question for you is this. With all the mess that has been happening on social media this last week, do you think that today's influencers have a positive or negative impact on our society? Why or why not? As a broadcast communication graduate, I believe that everyone has a great influence in our society. But what we should need to learn is that we need to keep on uplifting others because at the end of the day, what's most important is how we affect the lives of other people. And that's why I am here in Aliwan Fiesta because I want to be that instrument together with Manila Broadcasting Company in serving back the Filipino people for 83 years. Thank you very much, Micah. Okay, taking full responsibility and using your voice in mm-hmm. a good way. Yeah, mm-hmm. partner and well-researched, huh? Oh, <laughs> ikaw ba partner? Ginagamit mo ba ng maayos influence mo? 
Oo naman, partner. <laughs> I am a responsible social media content creator. How about you, I partner? know you are. Well, I don't consider myself as one. But yeah, I try to be responsible all the time. <laughs> Thank you very much, candidate number nine. Of course, Michael Martinez of Nueva Ecija. Mm-hmm. Now, let's have candidate number 10, Tanya May Kahilig from Labangon, Cebu City. Hello, Hi. Tanya May. Maayong gabi, kaninyong tanan. Maayong oh, gabi. Okay. I'm doing okay. How are you? I'm doing fine, sir. I see. And I'm sure you'll do fine in answering your question, too. I hope so. <laughs> All right. So let's hear it from our panel. Yes. Ano kaya ang tanong wala kay Mr. Tristan Harvey Francisco? Uh, maayong gabi, Tada May. Maayong gabi, uh, have... If you have a friend or a family member that opposed or mocks your personal political views in social media, how would you handle it? When I have a friend that's someone that mocks my political views, I would respect them, but I would just show them that uh, what have my trust on what or what are my views in this political view so in social media because if I'm going to reply them with another violence and it would make the situation much worse and if we would like to showcase what or spread positivity then it would make our lives a better place and it would make our all right thank you very much Tanya May Yes. And of course, for that question, sir. Yes, sir. Very timely, very relevant. Kaya nga, partner, Uh-oh. our judges are asking the right questions. And of yeah. course, our candidates are giving us good answers. Tama. Don't add fuel to the fire, partner. Ha? Pag may hater. Oo naman, Ako. partner. We learned the art of Deadma many years ago. Oo, pero yung mga fans mo. Anyway, <laughs> para sa akin, galit eh. <laughs> Ito, we're down to our last two candidates. Candidate number 11, Nikki Shannon Ortega from Davao City. Hi, Nikki. Good evening. Hi. Good evening to each and everyone. Yeah, you sound very good and confident. So, are you ready for your question? <laughs> I am. All right. <laughs> Let's go, partner. She's ready and um, Mr. Alan Yatopa is ready to fire away his question. Thank you. I'm going to fire away, like you said. <laughs> okay. Good evening, Nikki. Uh, Good evening, sir. And your question is, uh, what are the characteristics of a responsible Filipino politician? Thank you so much. I believe that the most important characteristic of a responsible Filipino politician is that he would be able to give justice to his country and to his fellow community. I believe that he should have a kind and pure heart and at the same time he should have a charisma so that people will follow him. One last thing, I also believe that having an innovative mind would lead to a prosper and a brighter country. Thank you. Wow, thank you very much, Nikki. All right, very well said. Yes, thank you so much, Mr. Alan Yotoho. Thank you, Sir for Alan. For that very <laughs> difficult question to answer. Yeah, no? but she managed it very well. All right. Exactly, partner. And, and for yeah. now, in the most awaited part of the program, <laughs> <laughs> yung last ano Yes, natin. we're down to our final girl, our final candidate, number 12, Cassandra Avena from Karamoan. Kamarina Sur. Hello everyone. Good evening po. Hi. Good evening. You match so well with your background. Are you in a studio? <laughs> yes po. I see. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great po. Alright Cassandra, are you ready for your question? Yes. Alright, let's begin. Your question will be coming from Mr. Tristan Harvey Francisco. Hello, Cassandra. Good evening po. Hello po. I know you're only 16 years old, but I have this very challenging scenario for you. How will you describe Karamoan to a blind person? Karamoan is a very beautiful place. It is rich in culture, tradition, and we really uplift our fellow Karamoanans. Kalamoan can be described as a color red because Kalamoanans are empowered. We take pride in our culture and tradition and I believe that we are resilient people. No matter what life brings us, we always become more resilient and become... Alright, thank you Cassandra. 
that came from the heart. Actually, uh, partner. And thank yeah. you so much, Mr. Tristan. Sa napakahirap ding sagutin nito ng mga. Oh, hi. If you are blind, how are you going to describe MBC na joke lang. <laughs> Partner, ibalik ko sa yung tanong na yan, ha? <laughs> well, thank you, ladies. And of course, thank you to all our panel of judges. And of course, that is the end of your last competition leg in this year's search for the next Aliwan Fiesta Digital Queen. Grabe, partner. What a performance mm -hmm. from all our candidates. You all deserve a round of applause kahit ano yan, digital <laughs> yun nga eh. applause. I'm sure our viewers are actually uh, applauding for you right now. But we've seen beauty and grace under pressure. Tama, partner. Mahirap mm. yun na ah, yung naikonstruct mo, yung answer mo in a minute pero or in 30 seconds. Pero yung candidates natin parang hindi man lang pinagpawisan. Oo nga, partner. Eh. Tiyak yung uh, viewers natin. Tutok na tutok sa buong Q&A portion. Now, you don't really want to miss out on that. At para talagang wala kang ma-miss out, siguraduhin nakafollow ka na sa official Aliwan Fiesta Facebook page. Yep, so yeah, now follow na kayo. And of course, all of these won't be possible without our sponsors. So maraming maraming salamat, Unique Toothpaste. Unique Toothpaste, Max Protectado, Max Alaga Pag Unique. White Rose Papaya, yan ang papaya puti, papaya fast ng White Rose Papaya. Charm Fabric Conditioner, bangong kumakabloom with Stay Fresh Technology. We would also like to thank... Dito Telecommunity. Todo na dito with Dito Telecommunity. Tandway. Tandway, world's number one rum. Birch Tree Fortified Powdered Milk Trick. May lakas depensang nutrisyon para sa buong pamilya, kaya kasama all sa Birch Tree. And Palmolive Naturals Shampoo. Palmolive Naturals Ultra Smooth. Handa ang ganda with just a finger comb. Once again, thank you to all our sponsors and partner. Mm, We're tana. almost at the end of the candidate's journey to the crown. Here we go. Yeah, naman, we are inviting everyone na magkita kita tayo sa so, November 5. I-block nyo na yung schedule na yan. And oh, malalaman na natin kung sino nga ba ang tatanghali. Aliwan Fiesta Digital Queen 2022. Exciting partner. Totoo partner. So, masisaya pang snako na naman ito partner. Oh, ay. <laughs> Pero masaya ako na kapag trabaho tayo together and of course, we're happy to join you tonight. Yes, and until then, ito po ang inyong Basa Princess from 90.7 Long Radio Manila, Rockadera. And of course, I'm your Radio Bay Nick of 96.3 Easy Rock. Good night everyone and we'll see you very soon. Fiesta Digital Queen on the awarding and coronation night on November 5, 2022, 7.30 p.m. Catch the shows via Facebook Live on Ali One Fiesta, DZRH, Love Radio, Yes the Best, EZ Rock, Radio Natin, and Action Radio Facebook pages, and live telecast on DZRH TV Channel 18 on Signal, Channel 129 on Sky Cable, and Channel 3 on Cable Link. For more details, you can visit our official Facebook page, Ali One Fiesta, and our website, aliwanfiesta.com slash AFDQ. Aliwan Fiesta Digital Queen is back once again to gather 12 beautiful and empowered women from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao who share the same purpose to use their voice to make an impact in their respective communities. Aliwan Fiesta Digital Queen is more than just a beauty pageant. It serves as an avenue for aspiring queens. Aside from the title and the crown, winners will be taking home these exciting prizes. 50,000 pesos for the Ali One Fiesta Digital Queen plus the same amount for her chosen charitable program in the municipality. An all-expense paid vacation for two 
at Feliz Hotel Boracay, inclusive of buffet breakfast, airfare, and pocket money. Runners-up will receive 25,000 pesos and 15,000 pesos respectively, plus the same amount for the chosen charitable programs. Consolation prizes worth 10,000 pesos will be given to the nine candidates. And for the special awards, one winner of Netizens' Choice Award worth 15,000 pesos, one winner of Best Digital Production worth 15,000 pesos, one winner of Pride of Play Citation worth 10,000 pesos, one winner of Best in Talent worth 10,000 pesos, one winner of Best in Evening Gown worth 10,000 pesos. You can watch all shows via Ali One Fiesta, DZRH, Love Radio, Yes the Best, EZ Rock, Radio Natin, and Action Radio, Facebook pages, and on DZRH TV Channel 18 on Signal, Channel 129 on Sky Cable, Channel 3 on Cable Link, and our official website, aliwanfiesta.com slash AFDQ. This is your chance to campaign your advocacy and let your voices be heard. Whose beauty do you think will stand out? Will it be from Luzon? Visayas? Or Mindanao? This is the search for Ali One Fiesta Digital Queen 2022 Sa lahat ng bagay, simula pa lang, siguraduhing max protection na. Kasi, pag kulang ang protection, baka madaling masira. Sa ngipin, dapat may max protection din. Max halaga ng unique toothpaste. With Max Protect Formula, help stop cavities before they start. While keeping breath fresh, try unique maximum fluoride protection. Para mas alaga, mas protektado. ACS Boom! Papaya! White Rose Papaya! Yeah, 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 yeah! Boom! Puti ka! In seven days, oh yeah, 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 yeah! White Rose Papaya! White Rose Papaya! Na may double whitening! Papaya Extracts Plus! Whitening ng Vitamin B3! Clinically proven magpaputi in as early as seven days! Boom! Puti ka! Papaya puti, papaya fast. White rose papaya. Go blue. Charm that fun. Bamu gumaga bloom. Charm that fun. Gamit ay may bango ng salibong bulaklak. Charm fabric conditioner with stain brush technology. Gamit ay ka bloom sa bango. Charm Fabric Conditioner Bangong Kabloom ACS Ang galing Oh, oh, oh Ipakita Oh, oh, oh Pasumibig Oh, oh, oh Galing dito At galing dito Isang pagbibigay pugay sa inyo mga kapwa kong Pilipino Kayo na kinakayang lahat kahit mahirap Kayo na di nawalan ng pag-asa at handang tumulong pa sa iba kayo na walang takot harapin ang nagmabagong mundo. Kayo ang tibay ng loob ng isang buong bansa. Mula sa Tanway Rock, higit 165 years nang sumasaludo sa mga bayaning Pilipino. Tibay ng loob, tibay Tanway. Ang gusto ko sa Birch Tree Fortified, may lakas ni Pensa Nutrients. Ang gusto naman ng kids, gatas na gatas ang sarap. Pinagsama para sa pamilya. Lakas ni Pensa! Birch Tree Fortified! Uy, sorry, late ako. It's okay. How was your day? Ayun, nag-catch up lang. And met new people pa. 
Kahit anong biglaan, handa ang ganda with Palm Olive Naturals Ultra Smooth. Infused with 100% natural aloe vera extract for hair that's smooth and manageable with just a finger comb. At ang bango pa, I had a great time. Handa ang ganda with just a finger comb.